My old friend reminded me that when we went to a psychic in Coney Island in the 70s, the psychic said, I think you're a sign painter. And she just reminded me of this. I'm like, I totally forgot that. She said, and we laughed. We thought it was so funny. And now look at you. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> she, that psychic, that <coughs> she was right. I saw one of your paintings in grad school. Joseph Wallen was giving a, a talk. Who? Joe Wallen. Oh, I love him. Yeah, I and he was he, he showed one of your paintings. Daddy, would you like want? Do you want to dance? Right. And I was, I don't, I don't remember, I remember that painting resonated with me because I was so miserable in grad school. <laughs> Everyone made it seem like art is the worst thing you could do with your life. Yeah, I could see, where'd you go to grad school? Cranbrook. <laughs> oh, okay. But like, I don't know, I saw your painting and I, I, I realized that art should be fun. You should actually it should enjoy, be fun. you should enjoy yourself. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was, it was, it, it was a huge epiphany for me to see your painting because it was like, I, I still live by that now. I realized that I should have fun and... <laughs> I can't be, I can't, it's so weird being at this point in life where young people would say something like that to me. But great, that's so cool. I'm so flattered by that. I'm totally flattered. Gates on the Bowery that I did that for. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the art production fund made those after they, you know, commissioned you to do these things and you know basically I had the design and someone else you know a sign painter painted it but the reason I did that was the, the store I got was the chair store so I just thought <laughs> okay it's the chair store I want to rock with you it just happened sometimes it's very quick sometimes it's slow and painful that was very quick Stella was my first really big influence. I mean, influence is not the right word because it's not like they influenced my work. Yeah, it was, it, it it was more, your thoughts, probably. yes. And I would say that uh, Stella was my first really serious influence. I mean, I really got Stella in high school. It was a big deal for me. Um, I, Jasper Johns was sort of next in line. I loved de Kooning when I was a kid. You know, I love the way he painted. Um, but I loved Frank Stella for the clarity of the thought and that I understood what his project was, basically. Yeah, it was such a, it was a complete shift in abstraction. It was about the literal yes, object. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and That and, comes through in your work, too, too, in a way. Oh, that's interesting, because he really was a major. Ma I mean, I just was thrilled I understood his retrospective when I was in high school. It was like, oh, I finally get what someone's doing. That's very advanced for high school. I was working on this. It was a real conscious um, thing. And I would just go around Mom and the Met and not really understand what anything had to do with me. And at least with Stella, I understood in this retrospective how he got one, from one thought to another. And ha being able to follow his thinking was very important to me. It was very logical. It was really logical, but really out there. Yeah. Was it was illogical, but logical. Yeah, kind of like Soloway in a way, but a different. Yeah, way. and I kind of thought if I can understand these, it was all about the jumps, yeah. and I thought if I can understand the jumps between these thoughts, then I can do this. That's a good way of putting it. Really logical, illogical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I got it, and it built. It built. So I could imagine like how you could be an artist because of him. Taking abstract thought and giving it this, this co concreteness. This very concrete, very literal. Accessible. You can, yeah, yeah, but just, you, you know, know making... You can understand it more. Making the object the content and the content yeah. the object. But just then how he got from one thing to the protractors to the Polish synagogues, like, I got it. And it was really important that I could do that in my, to me. Because I was like, okay, if I understand that, then I can kind of maybe do this. Which was good since I'd already gotten into college for art. But I was, you know, not sure how it would ever manifest itself. So being able to follow someone was really important. And the pop stuff happened in college. So you're also on the board of the Warhol Museum. Yes, that's new. That's really exciting. 
and it, it, fantastic because they're doing such a completely fabulous things. It's so cool to be able to uh, to use the corny phrase "give back," but it really is. It really is, and in the perfect way for me. Mm -hmm. So that's really I'm completely honored by the whole thing. But it's I just went to my first meeting, and they are doing such phenomenal work all over the country that it's 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 just a it's a thrill. It's a thrill. This is a great foundation. They are, they're amazing. They're, they support more artists and more museums and more, you know, I mean, it's so well endowed and they do terrific work. So I'm very, very happy to be on that. 